Welcome back. And now we are ready to learn how to use prepared statement. Here, here, I want to use a prepared statement in place of a statement. I want to use prepared statement. For prepared statement, two to three points should be in your mind like I'm going to use prepared statement. And there, suppose P is equal to, based on the connection, I will write here con dot prepare. I'm going to use con dot prepare statement. This method you will use not like a create statement. And one important point, your query, you have to pass here itself. Like suppose, if you want to write insert query, so your entire insert query, you have to pass here itself, see. And after passing your query, see here, I'm passing insert query here. But when anyone will ask you to pass the value, so value you will not pass in this way. In place of passing the value here, you have to pass question mark. Since four value I have, so four question mark you will pass. And now value of this four question mark, you have to set here like a PS dot set. This is question mark, why? Because it is a dynamic query. Dynamically, you don't know what type of data will come. Since in my database, I'm going to take all field as a var care. So here you will use the method set a string. If there I will use number, here you will use int. If I use date, here you will use set date. So now here you are saying, means ps dot set string one. One means value of first question mark. This question mark is known as placeholders also. So value of first question mark will be what? So now I'm passing the information here, like uh, here I'm passing here uh, uh, Rajni and suppose here uh, value of the second question mark, now ps dot uh, uh, set string so value of second question mark, I want to take here two comma, suppose it is a password. So suppose any password is RRR and here the third one, uh, PS dot set string value of the third question mark. So value of third question mark, uh, suppose I have to pass the email, suppose email I'm passing here, uh, Rajni at uh, yahoo uh, dot com and after the third, Yes, I'm ready to pass the fourth question mark value. So PS dot set string. And yes, the fourth question mark value is ready. And here I want to I want to display uh, here's a result like a city. So as a city, I'm taking suppose Masur. Masur city. And yes, now your statement is ready. This is statement now you want to execute here. So for executing that statement, since this statement is related with insert, so you will execute. Now it is not related with your uh, select. So here this part I'm going to comment. I'm going to comment here uh, this particular part. And yes, now this if condition I'm going to enable. And inside the if condition here, here since I'm going to execute that, uh, so how to execute this part? So for execution, you will use, see here, int of i equal to ps dot execute update. Inside execute update, you will not pass any data, like how you are passing for the statement. Here you will not pass any data. You directly will use execute update. And yes, now we will see the result. What prepared statement is going to work or not? So here, if I will uh, compile my program and will run, then see here, here after compilation, uh, okay, it is showing some error uh, related with uh, the different value uh, here, just a minute. Uh, okay, in place of single quotes, I should give double quotes. Single quote is for character. Already you know, uh, since I'm setting as a string, so I should use here uh, double quotes, not the uh, single quotes. So here I should use the double quotes. It is giving error because uh, in Java, it is not taking as a string. It is taking as a character uh, for a single quote. So you should pass 
you know data inside the double quotes. So yes, now yeah, it is ready. Now it is perfect. Now ready to compile here. Ready to compile. So if I'll compile, so yes, now if there are no error. Now if I will run this uh, program, uh, then see it will display that yes, uh, data inserted successfully. I want to check here means what my data inserted or not. I'm using here select star from uh, uh, ITC employee. Here ITC employee I'm using here and yes, now you will see that Rajani data. Yes, this data is now here. Means you are able to use prepared statement successfully. Prepared statement now working properly. So hope you all are able to understand in the same way. What is your responsibility? You should run uh, update query, delete query. Only condition. What's the email value? Question mark. Name question mark. And those value you have to pass like this. And after that, execute in the same way. It is your responsibility to run delete. And after delete, yes, you can run select query. So select query where you will pass, you will not pass here. You will not pass inside execute query. In place of that select query, you have to pass inside prepared statement. If select query is having some conditions, some where uh, filter. So all the where condition you will pass with the question mark and question mark value you will set in this way. And then you will execute and you will be able to get your result. So hope this prepared statement part or you are able to understand and suggestion is my things you should take and how I'm writing the code in the same way you also should follow and you will be very much comfortable. You will not face any problems. So hope you are able to understand this concept up to uh, this stage. Uh, next, uh, I will talk about uh, a callable statement. So thank you. Thank you very much.